Fabrication, love it. The actual building, love it. And, um, I think we've done it very well. So the reason why these are structural is because, as I said to you earlier, this is 9mm, a thin wall. This is basically a fuselage like an aeroplane. So therefore, the flip side of having a thin skinned boat is that you need good structural elements to stiffen it. Not so much from the wind and wave action, primarily for when you're um, sitting alongside a, um, a jetty. Because if there's a bit of a slop, you've got four and a half tonnes working on right at a point load with a couple of you know fenders. So you need to make it strong enough to stand that sort of loads. The painting, I think we've not quite as good as we would have liked. People told us all along that's what it would be like. <laughs> These are fully opening. These windows are fully opening. Yeah. And uh, this is fully opening here. This side and that side. The centre one can't because the mast is in position. Paul will be my favourite place down here. <laughs> Come and sit with a book or something. And the cushion? Yeah. Yeah, it's the best little one. Yeah, it's come up well. I'm going to. Uh, I gave that another coat the other day as well. Yeah, that's why I think I need so to just keep the coats on the outside. That you had, and then mm. on top of that first lot, and then it's got another. Yeah. A lot of photographs of guys that have built their own cats, and the hulls are fantastic and the turrets are boxes, they're like coffins. He says 20 degrees in the plans. I rang him and said, can I make it 30? He said, yes. He said, in fact, his last boat, he's built two of these now, the designer, he said he made his 30, because it gives more space down here. Um, it also looks 100% better. But some people are down to 10 degrees. Can you make like a 10 degree like that? It's just literally like a box sitting on top of the thing, and it just spoils the aesthetics of the whole thing.